this is the chart of Binance on CoinMarketCap. If you'd have purchased Binance when it was first listed, or its lowest price was just over just over nine and a half cents on August the first, 2017, and you held it, it's now over sixteen dollars and eight cents, and that's for a return investment greater than nine thousand percent. You will have done really really well and one of the things that Binance does is every quarter they burn some of their BNB coins thus reducing the supply and elevating the price of the coin. Binance is the probably the biggest player in the cryptocurrency sphere in terms of exchanges and in this video I'm going to be asking is it getting too big? Is the Binance the new Google of the cryptocurrency space and what can be done about it? Now please subscribe comment, like, let me know if you hold BNB coins. Please follow me on Twitter, CryptoRichYT, and join my Telegram announcement channel. I'll have the link in the description below. And if you're watching this on YouTube, come over to my BitTube channel because that's where I post my videos first. Steve and Dave use eToro to trade cryptocurrencies. Steve has a watch list for promising breakout coins. Dave has a watch list too. So why is Dave just as good a trader as Steve? It's because Dave used eToro's copy trader to automatically replicate Steve's trading activity. Whenever Steve makes a trade, Dave does too. Trade like a Steve with eToro, the world's leading social trading platform. This is an article from the Coin Republic. Is Binance's new smart contract layer a threat to Ethereum? Now, the Coin Republic is a new and upcoming news website, and what they talk about in this article is how Binance are going to develop a smart contract layer, which they say is not going to be a rival to Ethereum, but is going to have greater speed and functionality than Ethereum. And I'll link to this article in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. Here's another one. So, Binance has launched BTC options on its futures trading platform. However, the exchange has been criticized for misleading users because it looks like it's binary options which can be incredibly incredibly addictive and very very risky for those that uh, take those sorts of trades that engage in binary, tra binary, binary options trading. Then there's this one. It's official. Binance buys coin market cap for an undisclosed amount. Binance has officially announced its acquisition of coin market cap. It was reported earlier this week that an announcement of the purchase was pended and the rumored purchase price plan placed the acquisition at around $400 million, making it one of the biggest crypto focus acquisitions to date. Now, this is something that Google has done and continues to do, that uh, because of the amount of money that Google makes, you know, because of the, the, amount, the, uh, the amount that it has in its treasure chest, it's able to buy up all sorts of different companies, small startups and everything, even some bigger companies, and include them as part of the Google ecosystem. And you know what that what that means is you have a greater degree of centralization of information. Now, as Binance grows and grows and grows and grows, it's going to be able to wield more and more influence over the whole cryptocurrency space. Now, one of the, one of the attractions for me about cryptocurrencies is that it's decentralized, and anybody can participate with a very low level of uh, entry for threshold. But as Binance gets bigger and bigger and bigger, will exert the risk is that it'll exert more and more influence over this hitherto decentralized space as more power and influence becomes concentrated within the Binance ecosystem. One example of its centralized influence is from this article, which states that $1 billion of USDT of Tether is sitting on Binance. And um, it goes on to say, according to data shared by Jason Choi, there is now just shy of $1 billion worth of Tether sitting on the sidelines on Binance alone. Now, this isn't Tether that belongs to Binance necessarily, being held in people's wallets. Who are you going to use it to to buy and purchase other coins? This metric is up 1,000% from the mere $100 million worth of USDT on Binance at the $10,500 top in, of Bitcoin in mid-February. And a majority of the growth took place after the Black Thursday crash in the price of Bitcoin and other crypto assets. So, so more and more Tether has been collecting within the Binance exchange. And this is bullish for crypto because it means that it's like waiting on the sidelines for a good price and then okay we're going to move in and buy up the other cryptos. It would suggest that individual in investors are sending their stable coin onto the exchange on mash on mass. They're likely waiting to unload their USDT for cryptocurrencies be that Bitcoin, Ethereum or otherwise. So that's one way by having the concentration of tether within one exchange that people are going to be able to exert a ridiculous amount of influence over the cryptocurrency space and this is CoinMarketCap time of recording. If you scroll down here, just to get an idea 
of how large it is. Monero has a market cap just over $1 billion. Cardano has a market cap of less than $1 billion. And all the other coins less than $1 billion. Now, it doesn't mean that everybody's, all those individual investors are going to all of a sudden buy, buy Bitcoin gold. But just to give you a sense of how much concentrated financial influence Binance has and the risk that it poses. Now, there is another risk that it poses, which is that it is a centralized exchange. And remember, not your keys, not your crypto. So even if you hold um, Tether on Binance, then there's a risk that Binance may get hacked or something could happen, some regulatory attack, and that, that Tether is no longer yours. And this is a point well made by uh, Kadan, who is the CTO of Atomic Dex. So Atomic Dex CTO, Kadan's statement says that Binance is a ticking time bomb ready to blow up any moment. And why is it a ticking time bomb? Well, he says, we don't know what is happening with these funds. Are they even in a secure and safe environment? But also there's no transparency as to what happens with these funds in a business sense. Are they used in other business activities? Do we know if there may be any investment firm behind this exchange using these funds and so on? Furthermore, he believes that because of the regulatory vacuum, their users may not even have the right to know about how Binance handles their assets. You know, if these funds were used for something other than storing them for you, because there are no real contracts around, there is no exchange insurance with most cryptocurrency exchanges, and very few of them have regulation or solvency analysis. Cryptocurrency trading markets like Binance have a huge power, huge control. They are the custodians. They control these funds. And speaking technically, they own these Bitcoins. Now, one way to keep your crypto safe as you trade is through the use and the growth of, of decentralized exchanges. Now, there's Fork Delta and a few others, and there's also Atomic Dex. Atomic Dex is a decentralized exchange built on top of the Komodo multi-chain platform. It cl claims to be the industry's most advanced peer-to-peer mobile-first atomic swap protocol. Now let's have a look at Atomic Dex because this is a solution to the centralization of assets through large exchanges such as Binance. Now I've used the Atomic Dex um, application. It's available on iOS and Android. There's no email sign up. There's no KYC. Your coins, your crypto, the, the coins and the tokens stay with me. I have the private keys. If you and I want to deal, do an ex exchange, we do so across the Atomic Dex application and either the exchange goes through for both of us or it goes through for neither of us. There's no counterparty risk and the coins are within my wallet or within your wallet once the, until the swap is complete. It's not in a scrow service. There's no, like I said, there's, no, there's nobody else holding onto the coins. It really is fully decentralized peer-to-peer cross-chain atom true atomic swap trading. Now, what do I mean by cross-chain? Well, if I go to Fork Delta, I can take my ETH and I can use it to buy SXDT. You know, Fork Delta has pretty much all the or a lot of ERC20 tokens. It doesn't have anything else because it's it runs on the Ethereum blockchain. But cross-chain allows you to exchange from one particular protocol to another protocol. So let's have a look at those. So under the hood, Atomic Dex is compatible with 99% of assets, including Bitcoin, all UTXO-based coins, Ether, and ERC20 tokens, and any coin that supports time and hash lock payments. The test version comes with a dozen coins enabled, and we're adding new assets with every release. So currently, you can do exchanges with uh, that involve Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Doge, Digibuy, Axe, I don't know, Zcash, Raven, Litecoin, and Qtum, and also these Komodo and Komodo ecosystem coins, KMD, Hush, Red Fox, Zilla, Utrum, KMD Labs, Morty, and Rick. I think these are play coins, test coins. And these Ethereum and ERC20 tokens. Ethereum, USDC, BAT, AWC, DAI, TUSD, PAX, and BUSD. Now you can go from ETH to Komodo, Komodo to AWC, AWC to Raven, without having to go in and out of Bitcoin and Ethereum like you do with most centralized exchanges and most centralized transactions. That's the magic of the Komodo Atomic Dex. Now they've released a new version that's now available on Android. Now on the new version, they've added coin, they've added vote 2020. This is if you want to take part in the Komodo notary node elections, added supernet, various bug fixes and improvements, and other changes by updating the core. And what I'm really looking forward to and I'm really excited about is when the integration of pirate chain happens on the Atomic Dex because then you'll be able to go from Bitcoin to Pirate Chain. 
and pirate chain to another coin should you wish to do so. And then what you have is real, true anonymity and privacy. And without privacy, there is no freedom. All right, let me know what you think. What do you think about the influence that Binance Coin wields over the crypto sphere? And how do you think that decentralized exchanges like Atomic Dex could challenge that? All right, let me know what you think and including what you think of Binance and how they operate and what they do. And also, where do you think, what do you think is going to happen with regards to decentralized exchanges? And in between now, when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with crypto profits. This is Crypto Rich signing out. All the best. Bye bye. It seems like the whole world is in lockdown. This means there are more people at home on their devices, more people working from home, a greater risk of business and personal data being compromised. This is why it's so important that you get a VPN. Now with NordVPN, you get a 30 day money back guarantee. And if you use my affiliate code, nordvpn.com slash crypto rich, you will get an additional discount. Link in the description below. Get a VPN.